Finally, in the last video of this week, we are going to talk about the last special case, which is called the unbounded problem. So let's recall a little bit that in the Giappetto and Dorian author problems, we only have one single optimal solution. And then we have seen the problem where we have infinite number of solutions. We also have seen a problem where we have no solutions at all, which is called the invisible LP problem. And now we're going to look at the unbounded problem. So we are given an LP problem and then we draw that problem that you can see uh, in the right hand side of your screen. And then if you draw the isoprofit line and then you drag it to get a better and better Z, you notice here that in this problem, you can always drag the isoprofit line farther and farther up to get a better and better solution because this point a b is actually does not stop here in b it keeps going all the way to to infinity which means that you always can have the new as a profit line which gives you the better solution with higher z that's why this problem is called unbounded because there is no bound to get a better and better and better solution. Um, just a small note from me, I think the isocost lines here, the scale is a bit off the gradient, but it doesn't matter actually in this um, example. The idea is just uh, showing you that there are some cases where you can always push the isoprofit line further and further to get the better and better solution without any bound. That's why it's called unbounded problem. So an unbounded linear programming problem occurs if it is possible to find points in the feasible region with arbitrarily large z values. And then you can find another point that has even better z values. And then another point, another point, because there is no bound to keep going to find better and better solution. In reality, so not just uh, the problem in the textbook or in this class, in reality, if you find a problem with unbounded optimal solution, you should be worried about your formulation. There might be some uh, constraints that you forget to put in your problem and so on. So if we're talking about real world problem, you need to worry if you find uh, your problem has unbounded optimal solution. So in reality, you need to recheck your formulation, the completeness of your formulation. So let's summarize the cases that we've seen so far. So in the example one and two, Dorian, Otto, and Giappetto, they fall into case one. They both have a unique optimal solution. In example three, we have an LP that has alternative or multiple optimal solution. In example four, we have an LP that is invisible because uh, it does not have any feasible region. And finally, uh, we saw an example where the LP is unbounded. So here's a question to check your understanding on unbounded linear programming. I will give you the answer after the pause of the video. So the question is, feasible solution exists in an unbounded LP. Is it true or false? The answer is true because unbounded LP has a feasible region. So obviously it also has feasible solutions. Well, that's the end of the first week of the Operation Research One course. Um, so now you should be able to formulate a uh, real world problem into a linear programming problem. And then you know the four characteristics of a linear programming problem. And then you may solve it using graphical methods. And finally, you know all the possibilities of the optimal solutions of a linear programming problem. Starting next week, we are going to do more practices in formulating a real world problem into linear programming problems. There are some characteristics in those problems that uh, you might find them useful to help you formulating linear programming problem in the future. 
So thank you for watching all the videos in the first week and see you in the videos on the second week.